Good morning, and uh, it's it's really uh, I didn't didn't expect that uh, I'd be on the Today Show uh, for such a somber occasion. Uh, I want America to understand this week it's going to get bad, and uh, we really need to come together as a nation. I, I heard the stories that you were just playing, young people out um, on beaches. Uh, we, we see here in D.C. Uh, that, that the uh, district set up a cam for people to watch the cherry blossoms. You look on the cam, you see more people walking around than you see cherry blossoms. And this is how the spread is occurring. And so we really, really so you don't need think people are taking it seriously? I think that there are a lot of people who are doing the right things, but I think that, unfortunately, we're finding out a lot of people think this can't happen to them. When you look at what's going on in New York, yeah. and we said this at the beginning of our 15 Days to Stop the Spread initiative, that the numbers you see reflect what happened two weeks ago. We don't want Dallas or New Orleans or Chicago to turn into the next New York, and it means everyone needs to be taking the right steps right now, and that means stay at home. Yeah. I hear the urgency in your voice, sir. Um, I, I wanted to ask you, actually, because the president tweeted just last night around midnight, and he said, um, and I can put it up on the screen, we cannot let the cure be worse than the disease. At the end of the 15-day period, we will decide which way we want to go. What does that mean? Well, it means that our 15 days to stop the spread initiative really was based on the fact that when it came out a week ago, we were about two weeks behind Italy, and we really helped, hoped to, uh, to instill a sense of urgency across America. That includes pulling down elective surgery cases, and I have an uh, op-ed about that. That includes our social distancing measures, stay at home, don't take any unnecessary travel, avoid groups of larger than 10. That includes not teleworking, and again, there are parts of the country that are doing it, but these mitigation measures work preventatively. They work best the earlier you do them, and people are still reacting and waiting to see spread right. before they decide to get serious.